Let me make sure I'm online. Okay. Hello, I'm Alex from AP Inc. So today I'm going to be working on some fan art. Um, I feel like after doing all of the doctors that I should finish it up by doing the TARDIS. So I've got a piece of sketchbook paper, a 2H pencil, some more supplies off to the side. So I'm just going to try to get into this. Um, I think this is kind of three quarters. I think I'm going to go a little bit further than that so you can see the side a bit more. So perspective. And I was thinking about doing the bad guys too, but to get an accurate kind of list of the bad guys from Doctor Who seems easier said than done. Because when I was looking up references, um, I wasn't really getting what I was looking for. Like, I know, um, the Daleks, Cybermen, the Angels, the potato-looking dudes, that I can't think of what they're, uh, the species that they are. Um... There's another one. Are they called the silent? The alien looking dudes that kind of have no mouth. But I think they were suits. Like, I know there's the master. And he's been depicted, I think, in three different bodies. Okay, so I am going to try to do this perspective. So I need to come up with perspective points here. I don't know, if anybody wants to see me do the villains, I will. But I think after the TARDIS, I'm going to move on to something else. Um, but I guess if you want to see me do the villains, can you send me a link either in my DMs on Instagram or link it after the fact on YouTube in the comments. And for that, is anybody actually enjoying this? Like, I'm just doing this for fun.
Okay, so perspective lines that stretch way out beyond the size of the paper. I think I'll use the width of the ruler to start here. Trying to figure out the, <coughs> excuse me, other elements of this. Obviously, the top bit here, and then like the foot ledge, whatever, on the bottom. I feel like this might be too wide.
so just brought it in a little bit. Um, okay, I will be right back. My allergies are going crazy this morning. You probably didn't need to know that. So, if you can make it out here, the top bit of the TARDIS, the top corner, you might be able to see the tiers here, but you can definitely see it more here. So, it'll probably be a bit more flush looking here but you'll be able to see the layers here
see this light on top. I'm tempted to have it more or less in line with this um top line seam whatever but it would be kind of in the center to actually so to have it off one way or the other see but then this reference is at a different angle than what I'm attempting here, which I might need to narrow this up a bit more. I don't know. I just said I think I should narrow it up some, but I don't want to make it too narrow because there are layers here. There's like the trim. I suppose around the doors here. Oh, that's what I wanted to say. Um, okay, I'm not sure of the timeline for which one appeared first, but the silent, if that's what they're actually called, from Doctor Who, let me make sure I'm... I want to make sure I'm actually using the right name for him. Because I know there was like a crack too, which I don't know if that's the silence, but the crack happened, um, when the TARDIS was destroyed. Yeah, these guys. The silence. Um. But okay, I again, I'm not sure the timeline which one aired first. I know Buffy the Vampire Slayer had a similar villain their monster of the week where Buffy was sick in the hospital and she had to save a bunch of kids
Um, but I think that was the bad guy. I don't know if they actually gave that creature a name, but pale white skin. Um, I think they had like silver teeth. They wore suits, I think. The silence from Doctor Who and then Slenderman. Which one came first? Because I, I swear Slenderman is based on either the creature from Buffy, the Vampire Slayer, the series, or Doctor Who. And the creature from Doctor Who Buffy. I'm not sure what season that was. Okay, we're getting there. Unfortunately, I will be right back again.
will separate out this span in four pieces for the window and then three panels. But before I do that, I actually have to do like the trim around the entire door.
to actually plan for the molding around each of these panels when I mark this. actually get the angle right on this.
think. Because, okay. For perspective. It would kind of taper in as I've got this. Um, the top line would be more angled slightly down. The center line would be more straight. Even if it were slightly below um, eye line, the line down here would uh, um, angle slightly up because it's uh, where it hits for the eye line. So if I measure, instead of measuring down, if I measure up to this bottom line, maybe. Not that drastic, though. I will be right back.
can't get this right. Okay, so for this front part, I measured from the bottom line up. For this part, I measured from the bottom of the door up, which helps this look better. But also because of the perspective, the further away from the center point it gets, it would look more squashed or um, angled. Okay, um, for the top panels, I'm going to come in and do that. I, I'm thinking I might do it after I color it in and just do it with the fine liner. Put in the center molding for the door. Obviously, up here it says police box. Um, I think we're getting a bit too small for me to be able to 
accurately make it look okay. I mean, I do have a white gel pen I could try it with after. <clears throat> but I might have to add that in after digitally. Okay, so... I think the only thing left is the light, which should be like in the center of the box. So because of how I've drawn this versus the reference, and I think I was saying this before, it would come about here. Okay, sorry, I'll be right back. Okay, I might be making this too tall. Considering the angle of the box and how tall the light looks here. But to actually make the light visible, because I think at this angle, if you were to see any of the light, it would just be this top um the top dome I can't think of 
it's just the top bit of the light. So I've extended, probably overextended the height of the light. Okay. So I am going to move on to the line art from here. And ordinarily, I would, I've been using a Faber-Castell black brush pen, but I need the lines to be a bit more uniform and thin than that. So I have a Faber-Castell black fine liner size S. And I am going to use the ruler here just to keep my lines straight. Okay, before I get into this too much, I need to end, <coughs> excuse me, end the bottom bit here. Um, I don't think it would jet out that far. I'm actually thinking it might be... I was going to say, even with the back edge, okay, see here, it looks like that's the end, like I think if this base continued, you'd, it wouldn't line up here. I think it would come out a little bit more. I don't know, maybe it's the angle, but it, it looks like it ends right here. Sorry, I will be right back again.
Okay. Apologies for all these starting and stopping. If I could help it, I would. My line was off here. My actual line is here. I can't fix that. I will try to hide it when I get into inking this.
even with that, my perspective lines still are off. Because, it, again, the further away you get from the centered line, this line here, the more things look kind of wonky. So this line here should be thinner than this line here. This line here should be thinner than this line here. It's not perfect, but it was an effort. Let me see if I can put any kind of indication of separation for these panels here. I was going to wait and see about adding this after I inked it, but might as well do it now. Okay. Give this a minute to dry.
Okay, I'm thinking, um, because of how the light is hitting this box and the shine coming off of the paint, I'm thinking I'm going to do a base color of in this light blue and then come back in to add shadows with this darker blue and then I might add further shadows with like a midnight blue and then I have black I should box in the sign now I messed up here because I shouldn't have brought this line all the way to the top. The police sign now comes out further than the width of the door, double doors. It actually does stand um, stand up from the box, from the face of the box. You can tell by the frame around the sign, but given what we're doing here, I'm going to keep it flat. So my lines here are also off because this sign and this sign should line up. Okay, I'm going to give this a minute to dry and then I'll erase the pencil and get into inking. I will be right back.
I know the colors I picked aren't accurate to the reference here. I think this TARDIS blue is closer to like an indigo blue, which I do not have. I unfortunately have to use the colors I actually have. Okay, so starting with the sky blue, or this really light blue, I'm going to base everything in this color, except for the windows and the light. Let's hope I can actually finish this because this marker seems like it's drying out.
in my opinion at least even if i am using the wrong color blue i think this does heavily suggest tardis Okay, for sure I'm going to go with this darker blue to add shadow. I don't know if I'm really going to go in with this darker blue.
Okay. Um, to add any text up here, I don't think would come out very clearly. I'm hoping it still comes across that it's the TARDIS. I still have an option that I could try to add the text digitally after I finish streaming. Um, I know, it, again, I know the color isn't right, but I think given the colors that I have, this might be the best option. I think had I gone with the darker blue and used this, so like a, the mid-tone blue and then like the darker blue, it would have just looked like a black blob. Um, I am going to leave this one here though. I think for now I'm going to hold off on doing any villains or enemies, whichever, from Doctor Who. Um, if Again, if you'd like to see me do any of the villains from Doctor Who, comment. I, I, in the comments for YouTube, and if you could... I guess tell me which ones you'd like me to do in the comments. I'll look into it. But other than that, I am going to leave this one here. Thank you to anybody who watched or watches. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Bye.